Hello world, Topless Cat Lady here. We are getting closer and closer to Christmas. I'm sure most of you are already making plans with your families about where you're gonna be for the holidays or even if you're spending the holidays with friends. I'm sure all of those plans are already in the works and so I just wanted to give some opinions on family and I guess close friends could apply too. Because generally we're brought up with the fact that family is the most important and family will always be there for you so you always have to treat your family with respect and not to go against your family. But I kind of find this a load of bullshit because sometimes your family is the most ignorant and most idiotic and a lot of the times it's because they know they can get away with it because they're family. I've noticed, especially since I've gone vegan and even sort of before that, that I don't agree with a lot of the stuff my family talks about or believes in. I feel like it's perfectly okay to treat your family just as you would anyone else. There's no reason why you should accept ignorance into your life no matter who it is. I'm sure we still have the generations where somebody has like a racist grandparent and I feel like something like that is just sort of like laughed at like oh good old racist grandma but that shouldn't be acceptable. Uh, if someone in your family is racist or homophobic or ignorant, shouldn't it be your responsibility to inform that person on how to be more compassionate towards other humans around them? And I found that this is the same with veganism, that if my family or extended family presents the same questions that I would get from internet trolls, I'm gonna do my best to reply in a nice compassionate manner, but it doesn't mean that I have to completely ignore what they say and let them do what they want. And I know a lot of people who are the only vegan in their immediate family and how tough that must be because it's so much easier to be harsher with a stranger, with somebody you haven't met and you're maybe going to a restaurant and you can easily tell them, hey, uh, do you mind eating a vegan meal? But with, its, with your family, they've known you for so long, they know they can fight back, they know how to push your buttons and it's much more difficult. So personally, my plans for the holidays because usually we go to my grandmother's house or some other extended family member's house and uh, all the extended family comes over and it's a big meal and stuff. I'm going to do my best to try and get everyone to do a vegan meal otherwise I won't attend because the last time I was vegan when I was 11, 12, 13, every holiday dinner I would go to with my family it was just it was too much for me as a kid to deal with and nobody understood what vegan meant and I had no options for food because I didn't know about eating beforehand or bringing my own food and even like the salads were tainted with cheese or whatever so I'm not gonna let that happen again this time and there's absolutely no reason why everyone shouldn't comply it's it's not the extreme thing to do, it's actually the most non-extreme thing to do because we're choosing compassion over murder and killing, which is what the whole Christmas spirit is about. If you struggle with your family uh, because they're not vegan and you are, just try to remind them of the purpose of Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all of the other holidays going on this time of year. They're about love and compassion and, and helping those who are less fortunate and if they really want to put their words into actions, they can go to the grocery store and vote with their dollar by buying vegan whole foods. And that way, when you guys are celebrating the holidays together, you can feel truly happy about it because there's no death on your table. You don't have to kill anything. Be strong when it comes to your family. Stand up for what you believe in. I don't, I don't care if it's I don't care who it is in your family. I've already started to stand up to my grandmother. I love her to death, but I'm not just gonna sit down and let people destroy the planet and their health and kill animals just because they're my bloodline. It's unacceptable no matter who it is. So be strong around your family. Remember why you're vegan. Remember the ethics. Be prepared. Have your facts straight when you're going out for dinner. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and share it with some of your non-vegan family members. Maybe they might also find it inspiring. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it and to subscribe because it's free. And remember, be proactive, make a change in the world, go vegan, 
and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!